welcome to the channel. I've been uh, working on this Mustang. It's one of the main projects I've been doing on this channel at this point. Uh, this is a remove a lot of metal, put a lot of metal back, that kind of project. But it's the main project I've got going on in the shop right now. And I started sandblasting the bottom of it, doing the nooks and crannies, waiting for this thing to finally show up at Harbor Freight. Now, this is a surface conditioning tool. There are many other companies that sell them. These are not anything special. They're used all over the world in, you know, uh, marine industry, metal finishing. They're really pr quite co pretty common, except for in the, you know, the homeowner and, and uh, that kind of market, because they are quite expensive anywhere else. There is a uh, alternative that is a little more fair in price, but this one is much better priced. And uh, upon initial inspection, it looks good. Um, essentially, we'll try it out and let's see if it works. I hope it does, but it was the first one they had at the store, so we get up here and essentially now, so for right now, I've got the black wheel on here. This is basically the same as the 3M wheels that you put on your drill, and it's the same kind of black, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a plastic with an abrasive embedded into it, and you, they work, the, the narrow ones work great for these little channels right here, they do work really well for that, but uh, it was kind of nice. This thing was 129. Comes with three wheels, which is uh, more than the uh, competition comes with for more money. Uh, the other two wheels it comes with are these little guys here. This one is essentially a it's like a, a Scotch Brite wheel, and it is solid. It's heavy. There are no gaps around it. It is these are hefty little wheels. They're hefty little things. I don't know what Harbor Freight pricing is going to be on these things because they don't have them listed as spares yet, but you can buy these on Amazon from multiple different places. I don't know the quality of them yet, but I'll find out. And then this one here is essentially another one. It is a, uh, it's a type of Scotch-Brite type of uh, non-woven material is what they call it. And then it also has, and you can't see it, but in those little grooves, you'll see a little piece of sandpaper in there and that just makes it it, it kind of holds the, it holds it to shape and it works um, on Amazon uh, the black wheel what I found was they were running around $25 a piece um, there are ones that are like 50 something dollars a piece I don't know if they're twice as good I, I doubt it uh, these will run oh let me see actually these here I think we're about $16. Again, I don't know if it's the same quality as this. I don't know yet. But these are around $16. These are around $20. And then there's various grits and there's, it's like anything else with the braces. There's a ton of different ones. Now I will make one quick, uh, quick note on when you put this together, the screw that holds that on is left-handed thread. So yeah, when you put this together, that is left-handed so it needs to turn clockwise to be removed just so you know and there is not a spare one of these unfortunately this is one of those things with anything with left-handed threads i wish manufacturers would take give you a spare and put it on the tool somewhere thread a hole somewhere so you can run it in there so when you lose this you have a spare on the tool because you can't you can't go out and buy a left-handed one of these things anywhere not locally anyway so uh I'm going to go pick a spot in the car and reset up and uh, we're going to see how it works. Here we go.
I'm, I'm impressed. I'm barely pushing on that. It's slightly warm, just just like barely warm to the touch. Uh, I put it about half half speed. I didn't realize it had soft start, but it does. Um, yeah, I barely touched it. I'm just basically putting just a little bit of pressure on it and just kind of letting it lean against it. That's all I'm doing there. So I'm going to change over to uh, the one of the other pads and, and see what it does on here. Okay, I just want to interject into this review a little bit. I filmed that review. It's kind of in the middle of me doing all this stuff. And I've been using it for, uh, you know, 20, 30 minutes. And, you know, my initial impressions were good. Now my impressions are, I really like this tool. <laughs> I, I don't know what I would do without it at this point. I mean, this thing works that nice. Uh, I've got a little bit of wear on it. Got that little bit of wear. I've been pushing the corners into stuff, so it's a little bit of wear. Uh, no appreciable, not you know, not like it's just flying apart or anything. And I'll show you what I've got done so far. And this is all in about, I would say, probably 30 minutes worth of work. I've gotten you know most of this stripped i've got that stripped i mean look at that that's just nice and pretty that's the factory black paint this car never had undercoating and you can see how much i've stripped on here in just you know 20 minutes or so now some of this was this was blasted here but you know this down in here i've worked started working on i i mean this is just so much faster it leaves a nice finish now some of the little heavier pitting will need some other stuff but yeah this tool is awesome i yeah, I can't I couldn't do without it anymore. So get one. It really works that well. Okay. Thought I'd interject with how to get the wheel on and off. And uh it's pretty simple. You've got a lock button over here. So push that lock button in and you want to turn it clockwise. Because I said left-handed threads. Now if you notice, you will see there are four grooves in this. Basically, those are keyways. There are two keys on this shaft. So I would recommend when you take this on and off, turn it so they are horizontal, so they don't fall out. And that did seem to work. So basically, you've got these two keys. They go in the side of here. And... Uh, I believe they are removable for other types of attachments. Don't quote me on that though. So uh, let's go with this one here. We'll see what this one does. And this does have a direction. Um, yeah, that way. I had to think about it. It goes that way. All right, let's see how that does. Okay, here we go. Same speed. Okay. Same thing, thing there. I will say this got a little warmer. Uh, this is not what I would be wanting to use on this. What I would want to use on this would actually be more like the red one, which I'm not going to use because that is for polishing up like aluminum and stainless steel and getting those nice straight lines. And this is too. Uh, what I would use is uh, more of a because um, this has got this is a mixture of who knows what primer and other things. I would use one that has a, uh, like a, say a 60 grit equivalent. This is like 120. So this is obviously gonna be slower, not really meant for it, but it does work. So so I'll be using the black one in my videos. Um, so if you wanna see how it works a little more than this, 
just uh, you know, watch the video of me uh, stripping the rest of the car. But so far, uh, I like it. I think it was a good tool to get, and it's going to save uh, a lot of my air compressor runtime as well. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you subscribe, I appreciate it. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, but I, if you have, I appreciate it. So, thank you.